why can't we have things more immediately? Why do we have to get tested? You know, this stuff is annoying. I just want my manifestation, right? Why do I have to go through all these hurdles and loops and mental gymnastics of trying to believe, trying to believe despite what's happening in the outer world? And then what I realized is that this is a mode of being that the universe wants us to embody. Prayer is not so much what you ask for as how you prepare for its reception. And when I saw this quote, when I started to think about it, how many of us pray or try to manifest by asking, but then we'd miss the other half of that, which is preparing for receiving. Preparing for its reception is a different thing. It's an inner state. It's an inner mode of being. And Never Goddard says that the only condition required is that you believe that your prayers are already realized. Now, this is a pattern which I've seen in so many texts, in so many success books, spiritual books, religious books, that they all say that you have to believe in the reality that you want to experience before it actually materializes in the outside world. You have to believe in the thing that you cannot see. You know, Jesus said, believe, blessed are those who believe but do not see. So preparing for its reception, you need to be able to believe that it is already there. So then when you're looking to the outer world and you're asking, where is my manifestation? Why isn't it coming? It's been a few months, it's been a few years. And then you're starting to have these self doubts. You are feeling unworthy. You're feeling like you're not deserving. You may be asking yourself, am I asking too much? Maybe I don't deserve it. Then you're not in that state of belief. You're not prepared for its reception. You're not prepared for the receiving that which you ask for. If you're in this state of where is it? Do I even deserve this? Is this stuff even real? You are not prepared for its reception in that state. Just like the analogy of like ordering something off Amazon, right? Once you go to the checkout and you pay, you don't doubt that Amazon's going to send you your package or not. You're not going to ring up Amazon and be like, yo, is my package coming? I've just ordered it a few seconds ago, right? You just know that the package that you ordered is going to arrive at an appointed time. You don't question it. You, you just know that it's going to happen. And it's the exact same thing here with your own manifestation and your prayers and whatever you ask God or the universe for. It will come at its own appointed time. Your only part in preparing for its reception is to know that it is coming. Just like the Amazon package, your desires and your manifestations are the exact same way. You just need to embody the energy that you know that it is coming to you. And you know what I was also thinking? I was like, why does it have to be this way? Why can't we have things more immediately? Why do we have to get tested? You know, this stuff is annoying. I just want my manifestation, right? Why do I have to go through all these hurdles and loops and mental gymnastics of trying to believe, trying to believe despite what's happening in the outer world? And then what I realized is that this is a mode of being that the universe wants us to embody. So if you think about it, if you're able to master this mode of being, then once your manifestation comes, you're going to want something more, right? But then if you're able to master the mode of being now, then in the future, it's going to be a lot easier for the universe to give you bigger and greater things because it's going to require bigger and greater faith to achieve bigger and greater things. So this is why the universe is trying to prepare you. This is why God is trying to prepare you. They, it is literally, you are literally being molded. You are being molded into the character that you need to be for the bigger and greater things that you want in the future. Even bigger and greater things that you can't even think of right now. You are destined for that. If you are able to persist through the challenges and through the tests that you're experiencing right now. It's about embodying a state of being who's able to remain certain within the uncertainty, who's able to have this deep sense of knowing while being in the unknown. Because the realm of potential is the unknown, it is the uncertain, but then that's where all the things that we desire or our manifestations, it already exists in potential, it exists in the unknown. For us to be able to actualize it, to be able to materialize it, we need to be able to hold on to this deep knowing and deep certainty while we're in the unknown, while we're in the uncertainty. And only by embodying this mode of being are we able to, in the present moment and in the future, to be the conscious creators of our life and not to be unconscious passengers. A conscious creator is always living in the end. A conscious creator always has this deep sense of knowing that what they imagine and what they feel to be true within themselves is going to manifest in the external world. They know that the outer world is just a reflection of what we feel internally. And the key to getting what we want in the outer world is to first change what we feel within as within, so without. If we want to change the world, then we need to first start with ourselves. And that's a quote from Rumi. And this patience that is required of us and this version of us that we need to become, it, it's a massive character building exercise. And there's this quote which goes, slow success builds character, fast success builds ego. So I can speak about this quote from experience. It really resonates with me. So when I started this YouTube channel, 
I went from like zero to 5,000 subs in around three months. It was quite a fast success. And it was because of one video blew up. And then I ended up getting a bit arrogant. I was thinking, yeah, this is so easy. YouTube is so easy. I can get to 100K subs just in a few months, right? And then I ended up quitting my job and I was like, yeah, this is so easy. But so it's been over a year and a half since I've got 5,000 subs and I'm only at 7,000 right now. And so the universe had different plans. And throughout that journey, I was thinking, come on, bro. Come on, universe. Like, what's going on? Like, <laughs> why the heck am I stuck? I thought I was having fast success. And then, and yeah, it was really a humbling experience. And, and it's really taught me a lot about faith and persistence because I truly believe now that if I got the 100K subs in a matter of a few months then I wouldn't have gone through this journey of trying to learn about persistence and faith and patience and these are character traits which I know that I require in the future for the person that I want to become because I've got a vision of the things that I want to accomplish and it is going to take a lot of time and it's going to require a lot of patience and I feel like going through this journey now I've been able to see that reframe that my slow success or the delays and the obstacles in my journey are actually there for me for this character building i no longer get annoyed and think that the universe has abandoned me and manifestation isn't working i've been able to reframe my perspective and see this as an opportunity to deepen my faith and so the reason i wanted to make this video here today is to is for those people who are trying to manifest or are trying to make changes in their lives if you're not seeing changes in the outer world then I want you to know that this is actually an opportunity for you to practice patience. And this is a golden chance for you to deepen your faith. And that everything that is happening to you right now is actually happening for a reason. It is preparing you for bigger and greater things because you are destined for greatness. And the only way for you to achieve the greatness which you are destined for is through patience, is through going through the process of deepening your faith. So for those people trying to manifest and chase their desires and create the reality of their choosing, then I do want to say that it is coming. Whatever you want, whatever you're trying to manifest, it is coming to you right now. The universe is always in motion. Things are always happening in the background which you cannot see and, and things will always come to you at its appointed time when you are ready, when you are ready to receive, then the universe will give. The only thing that the universe asks for you is for you to be prepared for its reception and to be prepared for its reception it's to believe, it's to already believe that you already have your desires and to embody that state of being. Now I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.